Hey guys, come check out this high-rise condo penthouse we recently renovated. I'm Paul from Contact Renovation and Custom Homes. Welcome to the Art of Renovation. So here we have uh, the kitchen area, which we was a full gut and reconfiguration. And I'll show you a few of the features in this kitchen. So we'll start off with the pantry units here. So lots of different ways you can organize your cabinets for storage. I love the way this one's laid out. Here we have these large pantry units and I'll show you how they operate here. So a nice large pullout, great. In this case, you can see small appliance storage, good for food storage, whatever you can imagine. Access from both sides. It's a great option. It really helps to maximize the storage space within your cabinetry. But if you have a smaller space, you can look at these different options that really help to increase maximizing that storage per square inch and ease of access. As we get into this main area here, you can see we have a nice gas cooktop. We have this marble basket weave backsplash, which is nice up behind the chimney style hood. Uh, here within the base cabinets, you can see it's all drawers. Again, we have some nice uh, pullouts again for spices and other smaller items that nice to have around the cooktop where you're cooking. Um, by going with all drawers, it really maximizes the access to what you have stored in the kitchen. So again, it's really important when you design your kitchen to consider not only what's going to be stored where, but how easy is it to reach it. If you had cabinet doors, sometimes it's a big bend and reach in to grab what you want. So this is a great way to design it. For the island here, we have a nice large island. It's about five feet, close to 10 feet in size. So it serves really well as both a workspace from this end, but as you can see here, we have overhang on two sides. It's great. People congregate here and can eat and be served as well. So it's, it's fantastic as a multi-purpose space. And then within the island itself, we have the dishwasher, we have the sink, which is considered typical, but we also have a double drawered freezer and a wine and uh, beer fridge on the other end too. So it's a matter of utilizing the space that you have as best you can to maximize what you can fit into your footprint. As we move through the kitchen here, we can talk about the lighting. We've redone the lighting here. You'll be able to see some photos inlaid for that. We have new LVP flooring throughout this condo. Over here, we've reconfigured the master bedroom with an office that was adjacent to it to create a nice walk-in closet. We also renovated the bathroom with the ensuite washroom and added an additional walk-in closet adjacent to the bathroom as well. So a bit of a change of layout here. Into the living area, we've recladded the fireplace. There used to be a lot of ledger stone in this unit, which is kind of dark and heavy. So now we have some nice um, tile work on there. It's a bit more modern, as well as a electric fireplace that provides for some nice ambiance. Throughout the unit now, we have some powered blinds, which is great. We're in a penthouse here. It's south. Uh, west facing so we get a lot of natural light so it's great to be able to lower the blinds with the click of a button and really control how much light comes in and also have access quickly for a view of the, as opposed to going around pulling up a bunch of strings trying to make your blinds work so that's a great upgrade if, uh, if it's available to you. If you have questions about a potential project of your own please do reach out. I'm Paul from Contact Renovation Custom Homes. Have a great one.